To some happy news this morning, a, a happy interview. Uh, a Danish man says he has traveled to every country in the world, and he did so without stepping foot on an airplane. Thor Peterson says he visited more than 200 countries and some disputed territories too, and the entire journey took nearly a decade. He traveled the globe without flying, instead choosing to wander from country to country by foot, car, train, boat, even a container ship at one point. Adventurer and, uh, and speaker Thor Peterson joins us live. Thor, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I feel like, I don't know, when you're born with the name Thor, you're destined to do something great and cool like this, right? I mean, where, where did you even get the idea of traveling the entire world without, without flying for it? Uh, the idea came about after I received an email from my father back in early 2013. There was a link. I clicked on it, and uh, there was a story about people who had gone to every country in the world. And uh, before the end of the article, I'd realized no one had accomplished it completely without flying. And I, it just it, it, it sat with me as, as one of the one of the last greats <laughs> that uh, I, I could go out and try to conquer that. And so to, how did that work, though? I mean, did you did you drop everything? Did you quit your job? Are you a remote worker and you continue continue that on the side? I mean, how did you actually pull this off for 10 years? Yeah, well, for starters, we didn't know it was going to take 10 years. Uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, time spent in each country and uh, calculation time management and all, uh, I had a look and said, well, there's roughly 200 countries in the world, depending on how you count. I figured seven days in each country would do well, so seven times 200 is pretty close to four years. And I was confident I could do it in four years or less. Uh, I was working in logistics and shipping, but I was doing uh, so as a consultant back in uh, 2013 yeah. and the years before that. So I just stopped taking any new projects in. Uh, the, the big thing was then, of course, talking to my now wife. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. To her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> explaining to her that uh, I was going to take off for a bit. <laughs> yeah, that this journey was important uh, to you. Uh, it's, it's, it's so fun to see some of this video playing out, the photos of you and your wife at, at some of these spots. Yeah. What were some of the highlights for you from that journey? Uh, well, my wife would choke me if I didn't say getting married was one of them. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, she's watching agree. right now, I'm sure. <laughs> The, what's on the screen right now is from our engagement that's on top of uh, Mount Kenya in, wow. in Kenya. That's the second highest mountain in Africa. We thought we would have a beautiful day and Hakuna Matata and Simba and all the animals bowing to us. <laughs> but there was a snowstorm up yeah. there when we got there. And uh, yeah, we got married online uh, through an agency in Utah. And uh, that, that was good enough for Hong Kong. I was stuck in Hong Kong at the time during the pandemic. So she got to come and visit me in, in Hong Kong. Uh, we were married on two different dates because of the time difference. Uh, that's a pretty happy memory as well. Uh, but lots of good stuff. I mean, I once sat with uh, villagers on an island in uh, Solomon Islands. I think we have they that photo have right here while you're saying it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, I mean, they didn't have any electricity. And I brought a laptop. And they were so curious as to if I had any movies on it. I was like, sure, sure. So I showed them a movie and I had about 80 people seated around my laptop watching a movie. They couldn't believe it. Yeah, couldn't believe it, I'm sure. Yeah. So I, um, I'm pretty sure they did that before. I don't think I was the first tourist oh, okay, to go through okay. that village. <laughs> um, hey, my last question to you. Now that you've done this, I mean, don't you feel like you've done everything now? What, what's next on the adventure list for you? Surely this isn't it for Thor Peterson. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I'm 10 years older than when I left home, and uh, my wife and I we would like to see if it's uh, not too late to start a family that would mm -hmm. go ahead and do that, and that would be a pretty good adventure. Uh, but there's still a lot of the world I haven't seen, to be frank. I mean, if, if you go to New York, that doesn't mean you've seen the United States of America, and, and you can say the same for a lot of countries around the world. So I'd like to go to Easter Island. I'd like to go to Galapagos. I'd like to go to the Arctic, uh, the yeah, many, many places. Yeah, uh, the Galapagos is is breathtaking. It's like you're in Jumanji. You know, you're living you're you're living the movie. <laughs> well, Thor Peterson, thanks for joining us, and uh, a pleasure to talk to you. And best of luck with uh, starting that family. Thinking of you. Thank you for having me.
That wow. is definitely a guy who will be a dad that will allow his kid to do everything. Yes, right? and just let him soar Absolutely. and fly. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. That sounds great. That's cool. Well, coming up next. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.